Now, Austria's outgoing foreign minister, Sebastian Kurz, has led his Conservative People's Party to victory in Sunday's general election. The win puts the 31 year old on course to become the youngest national leader in the world. With more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn as we always do to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, although his party has won the election, it falls short of a majority and it, he is likely to seek a coalition with the resurgent far right. What exactly will that mean? Well, Mark, the dominant issue would be immigration, which Kurtz has uh, taken a hardline stance on. Austria was a gateway into Germany and beyond for more than one million people during the migration crisis that began in 2015, and many voters say the country was overrun. Kurtz has been pledging to shut down migrant routes and cut benefits to refugees already living in Austria. His proposals seem to have paid off and fall in line with the anti-immigration Freedom Party. The People's Party will most likely seek to join forces with the far-right camp in order to form a government and, consequently, for Kurtz to become the country's next chancellor. Both parties increased their share of the vote from the last parliamentary election in 2013, marking a sharp shift to the right. With nearly all votes counted, the People's Party is leading at just under 32 per cent, but it is a tight race for second place between its former partners, the Social Democrats, and the Freedom Party.